This is uh, Dr. Mayor Einstein. This segment will be on elevated cholesterol. A big issue has been made in this country about elevated cholesterol levels. It may be overstated, uh, but clearly if someone has enormously elevated cholesterol, like a total of over 400, that's most probably problematic. The real question comes if you have between 2 and 300, and the recommendations today are to be under 200. I'm leaving out the LDL, the HDL, because let's just deal with the, the total cholesterol. Uh, if you have numbers like 240, 250, 260, our cholesterol health product, which is a combination of five natural products, red yeast rice, polycosinol, phytosterols, and some other products, has worked very, very well. We even include COA enzyme Q10 in it uh, to make sure that the red yeast rice, which is a mild statin, doesn't have any problems there. Uh, the second thing I would recommend uh, would be our multivitamin with probiotics. Uh, our men's and women's have probiotics that makes it very unique, and probiotics have been shown to lower blood pressure, as well as elevated, we have elevated levels, seven levels, we have 2,000 units of vitamin D3 in our men's and women's uh, multivitamin with probiotics. If you're on statins, Lipitor, Zocor, Crestor, Mevacor, it's a good idea to try to get off them. But it's also maybe problematic to have elevated cholesterol, and so you know, I, I, I would definitely look to see uh, natural products. If you're not on one of these medications and your doctor is recommending it, I think that's a good place to start with our cholesterol health. I'd also look at your website, spacedoc.net. That's S-P-A-C-E-D-O-C dot N-E-T. It's Dr. Dwayne Graveline, who I'm proud to consider a dear friend of mine. He's a former astronaut, a brilliant physician, who's really looked at many of the problems and side effects of statin uh, drugs. Thank you.